Hey Internet, this is Jacob Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Now I've got an activity for you macro students to practice monetary policy and calculating the money supply and all that awesome stuff. It is called the FedEx's Fix the Economy. So here we go. It's time for an awesome activity. The first thing that you're going to need to do is get in groups of two to four. And each group's going to need a game board. Also, these four game pieces, which are the FedExes, the former chairs of the Federal Reserve System. So we have Paul Volcker, Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, and Janet Yellen. You're also going to need some of these scenario cards, which tells you where the economy is. They're all going to be uh, all mixed up just like this. You're going to need also a worksheet just like this to keep track of what's happening. And last thing, one more thing. You're going to need a computer or a tablet or your phone or something because you need to go to www.acdcecon.com backslash FedEx's dash fix. So click on that website, make sure you have that up and running because each person in the group needs that. Not one for the whole group, but each person needs to have their phone ready at that website. Here's how it works. Each person needs to pick a Fed chair and decide right now who's going to be who, and you put all of them on District 12. So District 12 is where they're all going to start. Next, you're going to have one person pick up one of these cards. This is the scenario card that tells you how the economy is doing. Every single person, write down the name of your scenario. In this case, mine is Scenario K, but everybody in your group is going to have the same scenario for uh, District 12, for the very first round. Uh, and this one says unemployment rate is 13%. The inflation rate is 1%. A decrease in consumer confidence has decreased real GDP. Congress and the president have decided not to use fiscal policy. The FedExes are looking to uh, use monetary policy to improve the economy. So basically, you're trying to figure out, okay, what is the problem and what do the FedExes want to do to help the economy? Now, of course, you probably already know what the Fed could do to stimulate the economy by adjusting the reserve requirement, the discount rate, or open market operations. But that's not what we're doing. We're not saying if you know what to do, we're leaving it to some chance. And that's part of this game. Right now, what each person in your team will do or your group will do is go to the website and click on Fed Action, Reserve Requirement, and Initial Change. And let those little spinning wheels tell you your results. Now, most important thing here, do not show your group. Make sure you do this in secret and you're going to write down those results in secret. So again, if it was me, not you, if it was me, I'd write down Scenario K. Then my Fed action, according to uh, the computer, tells me there's a decrease in the discount rate and the reserve requirement is 0.5. The initial change is $10 you'd have different numbers. If you're in my group, you'd have different numbers based on what the computer told you at you know random chance. Now, the next step is the total change in the money supply. A decrease in the discount rate would increase the money supply. A reserve requirement of 0.5, the multiplier is two, and then a $10 change uh, in the money supply would end up being a $20 total change in the money supply, and this would be an increase total change in money supply. Now, that's important because that tells me if I help the economy or not. Okay, next step. The person that read the card to the group reports their results to the group, and we'd all look at our results and say, okay, which one of us best helped the economy? Which one of us were most likely to decrease that unemployment rate and help out the economy using monetary policy? In this case, the person with the highest increase in money supply would have the best chance at helping out the economy. And that person would get one point. So if you helped out the economy the best, congratulations, you get one point. Now, you might be thinking, this is all just random chance, but no, there is some strategy. You can lie. Yes, you're allowed to lie. So let's say I had an increase in the discount rate, and this was actually a decrease in 20, and I was like, oh, geez, that's, that's obviously not going to help the economy. I could say, well, mine was actually an increase of 20. Right? And I, I lie. And if no one catches me in that lie and I end up winning, then I get one point. Awesome. Great. If I didn't lie and they called fraud on me, then they don't move on to uh, the next district. If I did lie, then I don't move on to the next district. And the idea here is you want to get through the districts as fast as possible because whoever gets to district uh, one, the fastest, gets three points. And that three points might win or lose the game. Okay, so that was round one. Let's assume that I did lie and someone caught me, so I can't move forward. So everyone else moves on, but I am Ben Bernanke. I got to stay here over uh, in District 12. Somebody else, you know, clockwise, picks up the card, reads it to the group. Everyone randomly goes there, their computer and their, or 
on their phone and they write down in secret what it is based on the computer's randomizer. So here's how you did, and then you calculate your total money supply, and then everyone shares the results, starting with the person that picked up the card and going clockwise, here's my results, keep in mind some people might lie, progress through the entire map until you finally get through Boston. Once you're done with Boston, whoever got through gets three points, add them all up, there's your winner. And the final last most important step is to tell me what you think of this activity in the comments below. Let me know the name of the person who won in your group, so put in that comment and tell them how many points you won, and most importantly, tell me what you thought of this activity. Was it cool, was it not cool, did it work, did it not work? Are you good at it, are you not good at it, are you a liar, are you not a liar? I don't know, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think, okay? Good luck in this game, until next time.